What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in today's video, uh, I'm going to address the question I got on, uh, on YouTube uh, from one of the subscribers, right? Uh, has to do, so the question was, um, the subscriber said he's 42 years old and he was wondering how long he can uh, practice judo for. So I, I answered his question in the comments, but uh, I felt that it was actually a, a very good question, right? Because, well, I'm 40. So, you know, and here, here's my take on it, okay? Uh, I believe that I'm planning on doing judo pretty much my whole life until I die, so to speak, okay? So my, I know it's probably gonna be, no, I wouldn't say impossible, but um, you know, things are gonna happen along the way. Uh, and what I mean by that is injuries, really, you know? So how I approach it is that I do a lot of weightlifting. I, weight, I lift a lot of weights, right? Oh, not a lot of weights, but moderately heavy, but I go about it uh, um, very explosive, okay? And that's because I train according to my neurotype, but I'll get back to that in another video. But essentially, I train, I do a lot of conditioning, okay um lifting weights okay just so that i remain strong because the more muscles you have okay the stronger you are like the better you are uh the less chance you have of injury when you take a fall for example right uh, or when you're a little bit twisted at funny angles and stuff like that so you're more resistant you're more resistant to injury it's kind of like a bullet like armor for your body you know having muscles and having strong tendons and ligaments so you really do have to work out a lot now, that being said, that's just one, one part of it. There's other things that you have to look at too. So you have to look at nutrition um, because why is nutrition important? Not to have a six pack or anything like that, okay? In, um, in terms of you know, training for uh, a long time in judo, I think it has to do with recovery, right? Because the better you eat, the faster you recover. If you're healthy and you're strong, you're gonna recover faster. So that's another thing. You have to take care of your nutrition and then on top of that, well, another part of, uh, of recovery is actually um, sleep. Like you have to sleep enough because that's when your body essentially goes into rest and recovery mode. Okay, so you have to get enough sleep and you have to get good quality sleep. So you have to be able to optimize your sleep, okay, your nutrition, and of course you gotta drink uh, enough water, right? So those are the basic things, but then I would add to that, and of course, you know, the conditioning at the gym and all that, I would add to that mobility work. Okay, because a lot of times what happens is that we get, uh, when we do judo, we injure, our, we injure ourselves, right? And after that, you know, it hurts and stuff like that. So then, uh, you know, we, we, we go lift weights, you sleep, but I mean, it's not, maybe not healing the way it is or you're, you're losing range of motion. Okay, so, but if you continue training with that limited range of motion, right? Well, guess what? Your body's gonna have to compensate when you train, when you fight. So then you're gonna, you're gonna fuck up something else. So that's what happens. So just to reiterate, okay, it's not gonna be a very long video, this one, um, but this is my approach. Weightlifting, nutrition, eating, uh, right? And water, of course. And um, what's the other thing I said? Sorry, guys. Uh, okay, weightlifting, nutrition, sleep, water, and mobility work, okay? So the five things, five things that you have to optimize, okay? And when it comes to mobility, like you really gotta work on it. It's not something you just do once, okay? And then you just don't do it again. I mean, of course it's gonna feel better on the spot, but then as you train, as you move, it's gonna come back. So you really have to be consistent with that. So consistent in all of these five things, right? To be able to, uh, to go as long as you can. And of course, stress levels, I mean, stress will affect uh, the way you recover. So, you know, you have to keep that uh, under control. And in, in other videos, I'll, I'll make, uh, I'll talk about what I learned in my uh, neurotyping uh, course, right? Now I'm actually certified in it. So I have a much better understanding, but I mean, it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty deep stuff, man. And it's super interesting. So I'm, I'm gonna keep studying, keep reviewing, keep working it. And of course I use this on my clients now too, like the neurotyping system. So I assess uh, their physicality. And then after that, I assess uh, them, you know, uh, with a bunch of questions to figure out their neurotype. So anyways, I, I, I get, I get practice from, you know, doing this on my clients and, and experience and practice and seeing what really actually happens on, on the, uh, on the field, on the floor, so to speak, you know, of the gym. Okay. That's what, uh, I mean, that counts for a lot. So 
I'm learning through experience and of course I'm learning through books and courses and stuff like that too. It gets really interesting. So where was I going with this? Yeah, I'll make more videos on that. It's going to be really good. So uh, look out for that. It's coming up. And uh, yeah, so to get back to it, I mean, you know, I think you could stay, if you, if you work on your, your, if you optimize those five things, okay, so you, 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 you do resistance training consistently, right? You work on your mobility and where you have issues, you got to keep working it and working it. And sometimes you work it, it's good, but it's going to come back. So you might have to adjust um, your posture too. So that's another thing, right? How you move your body, you know, how you, how you uh, organize your spine when you're moving. Because you might be moving incorrectly. That's why you keep getting, uh, you know, like your, your shoulders fucked up or your knees or whatnot, you know? So you have to address those problems. You have to learn how to move correctly. You have to be able to address your, your, your mobility issues. You have to be able to train weights, right? To keep you strong, your tendons, your ligaments, your muscles and all that, right? You got to eat properly so you can recover. You got to sleep properly enough okay uh to recover and then you got to drink a lot of water man you know like that's that's the way i'm gonna do it like i'm 40 years old now i think i look uh pretty young but i, I don't have such a hard face so i mean i just have one of those soft baby faces whatnot so but i mean you know i'm i'm 40 now and i i don't see myself slowing down at this point you know uh at all at all like um for for those of you guys who, who don't know uh, i'm a personal trainer uh, and I do judo. That's all I care about really, you know? So, <laughs> so my goal is to actually, uh, eventually win a, um, a, uh, become Canadian champ, right? Cause I'm, I'm in Canada for you guys who don't know. And to do that, well, obviously in my division, right? It's cause I'm 40. So I'm good masters. Uh, I think as of now, I'm masters three for those of you guys who practice judo. Right. But I mean, uh, I think it goes up to like master 10 or some shit like that. You know, you get, you have guys who are like 79 years, 90 years old, still competing in judo. But when I watch the videos though, of those guys, uh, you know, going at it and stuff, like I, I respect the shit out of anybody who steps on the tatami now, you know, for competition and even in the dojo. Right. But I've noticed that they're stiff, really stiff, you know? And I think a big key, is mobility work well everything is important because it's all it all it, it's it all works together it's an integrative system so to speak right so if you're lagging in one it's gonna fuck up all the rest so you want to get all of that stuff covered okay and but mobility is a big issue because you you notice that guys who are older and stuff like that like they, they're stiff they don't move as fast and stuff like that so that's how I plan on approaching judo and doing it essentially forever until I get my title uh, and until well, even after I get my title, after that, I'll just fix myself another objective, you know, and uh, we'll see from there. But uh, I'm doing good at this moment. I mean, um, you know, of course, my shoulders, like I got to work. I got I got all kinds of injuries, man. So let me just share them with you quick, quick. My knees, both my knees have uh, partially torn uh, ligaments, all the ligaments, ACL, PCL, lateral, medial, whatever. All of them are, are, are messed up, you know. OK, so but the thing is. And oh, okay. And then my back, I had back issues too. Okay. So I had a weak uh, lower back. So that messed me up too. Doing a lot of jujitsu back in the day. I did that for about six, seven years. Uh, I mean, that affected the back a lot because you're always, you know, especially when people are trying to pass your guard. If you play like uh, on, off your back a lot, you know, eesh, you know, and you get crunched up into a ball and your, your, your knees are like up to here, you know. Um, so I had back issues too. So I, that's getting much, much better now that I know how to organize my spine and I do a lot of, uh, you know, work for my lower back, you know, and then what else do I have? Oh yeah. I had surgery on my left elbow too. Right. Uh, because I got arm barred a couple of times, uh, uh, like hard. Right. And I didn't tap fast enough or the guy just, you know, went really quick. So, you know, I didn't have time. And so that, I had to have surgery. I had pieces of bones and ligaments floating around. So I don't even have my full mobility yet back at, uh, you know, on this arm. I can't extend it completely and I can't like, uh, uh, you know, flex all the way back. Okay. And what else do I have? Oh yeah. My right, uh, my right ankle is completely messed up. It's not completely messed up, but I mean, there's limited mobility there too. That's because of judo getting thrown all the time and landing on your damn, uh, a uh, heel that tends to fuck up some shit too. And I wasn't careful enough. And sometimes we let things go. And then after that, now it's stiff as a brick. I got to work it a lot. Also, both shoulders have issues. You know, I've done physio for, for both of them. 
Uh, and you know, I mean, it's never gonna get 100% um, back to what it was, but I mean, shit, what's the alternative? If you don't do nothing, it's just gonna get worse. It's gonna calcify, it's gonna, you won't be able to move it. So you gotta do a fuck ton of, uh, of mobility work, you know? Now, when I say a fuck ton, I mean that you have to do it consistently and a couple of minutes a day. You gotta give it love, man, you know? So if you demand high performance uh, from your body, right? Well, you're gonna, you're gonna have to uh, give it high performance maintenance, right? That's why I have a Theragun too. Oh, I'll just show you guys, it's right here. So I talked about this before, but this little thing here, oh yeah, it helps, man. And all kinds of stuff. Like I do so many things for foam rolling, uh, you know, like I use uh, uh, bands so I could like uh, create distractions, pull the joint out, move it in its, uh, move it its, in its, um, in its, um, what do you call it? Joint. Okay. You want to move the joint inside and, uh, you know, in, in the, in the, in the joint itself, you want to pull a little bit and then move it in, in its full range of motion so that you can get back mobility and, you know, break up all that, uh, all that crap, you know, all that, all those, all those tight muscles, all that calcium buildup and all that, and all those scar tissues inside. So you got to really work at that, but that's not going to be worth anything. It's not going to be as effective, of course, if you don't eat right. Right. So like, and what else do I do? Oh, uh, band flossing, uh, you know, I take uh, voodoo uh, floss bands and I do what we call voodoo flossing. So I do a lot of that stuff too. Um, stretching, not that much, but I think I got to get back into it because it does feel good. Um, but mobility, I think is even more important because if you have full mobility, you essentially look like if you're flexible, you know what I mean? But uh, definitely you got to take care of all those five things to be uh, top notch and to go for a long time. So that's the way I'm approaching it. Uh, and of course, um, over time, as I, as I learn more, as I get more deeper, deeper into studying longevity, performance and all that, I'll update you guys on all of this. So uh, in some of my videos before, when I talked about, uh, for example, keto, that I was doing keto at one point and all that, well, you know, people evolve, people change, man. You know, so uh, what I say today might be different than what I say in a couple of months, in a year or two. But, uh, you know, hey, that's the way it goes, man. You got to keep evolving, keep studying. And, uh, you know, you know what you know. I know what I know now, but I'll know more later. So that's it for this one, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah, this one was for you. Uh, man, I forgot your name. Uh, I think it's Adrian, Adrian, Adrian Moss or something like that. But anyways, I answered you in the comments. So this video is for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, well, for everybody else, too. Uh, it's fun that we have a little um, back and forth. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just leave it in the comments and I'll make a video about it and I'll answer your question. If, if like I feel that um, it, 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 you know, I need to get into more details and at the same time, it uh, gives me ideas to create more content for you guys. All right. Oh, okay. I'll talk about this some other time, but I'm going to start making some, uh, some other cool videos of me actually like, uh, you know, boxing and, and judo. I'm still working on that because the thing is, at the club where I'm at now, I mean, uh, I, I don't have the okay yet, you know? And, and my coach, personally, he's a little bit uh, uh, against social media, filming and stuff like that. And I'm not too sure about the sensei of the club either, you know? So anyways, I don't want to step on any toes, but I'll, I'll figure something out for that. But uh, that's it, guys. Oh, oh, so if you like the video, like the video and uh, share it. It helps me out. Also, what's the other thing I was going to say? Oh. You guys should follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of uh, stuff that I, uh, exercises that I do and stuff like that so you guys can see me there, right? Like short little clips. I don't talk as much uh, in those videos because honestly, I tried it a few times and uh, uh, the sound quality sucks. Like I don't have the full setup yet or haven't figured it out yet, but uh, once I get that going, then yeah. Yeah, sometime this year, I'm planning to really um, focus down on making like better quality content and, and shit like that for you guys, okay? so. Thank you very much, guys. Sharing is caring. Share the video. Like it. Comment. Comment. I like this, uh, this, this chat we all have together. Peace.